Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind. And I have a really important video for you today. In fact, I wasn't going to do one, but this is so important that I felt like I really needed to speak up because this one word will change your business. In fact, this one word, I believe, will change your life. So this actually came up from a situation that happened to me very recently. And it's something that I've just learned over my life. And in case you haven't, um, I don't know, I guess I haven't been on Facebook, so you haven't read any of my posts, but in case you weren't aware, I, I think it was like 13 days ago, just decided to uh, take a break from Facebook to literally never open it up <laughs> except to respond to messages, to not check my notifications. And I just one day woke up and after two years of sitting there watching people do one sen sentence posts, people trying to um, learn a lot and just uh, get clients basically, I just, I, I just couldn't take it anymore <laughs> because, you know, with my background in business and marketing, and I've, been, I've worked with so many stores and I have some really great mentors who have very successful businesses and none of them run that way. And so it just didn't make sense to me. I know it works for people, some people, but to many of the people that I was speaking with, it wasn't working. People weren't making money every month and, uh, and it just hurt my heart. And so this one word, I believe if that's been your experience and if you've ever gotten on Facebook and been like, what am I doing? Like, <laughs> oh my God, I need a client or something like that. Or wow, I just ended this day and feel like a loser because I didn't get clients, I wasted my day. I don't know, whatever it is that you've experienced, but you know, Facebook is a habit forming tool and I hate to talk bad about it all the time because I'm sure, you know, many people get a lot out of it. But personally, you know, I get a lot out of talking with clients, uh, interacting with people that I love and doing deep work like writing and uh, creating. I love doing graphics. That's how I uh, know that it's been a good day and by helping people and, and really quite honestly, um, you know, I know everyone's saying like, go on Facebook and, and you know, you can help people and then you can get clients that way. You know, you can help people in many different ways and uh, you don't necessarily have to uh, go on Facebook and hang out in a group waiting for somebody to say something. So anyway, this one word, I'm going to give you a little story about um, how I learned it actually um, before I tell you the word. So this is kind of, uh, the story is not related to business, but it will show you how I learned this word and maybe it'll leave an impression so that you can learn this word too. But many years ago, I, I don't know, I was like 20, 21. When I first moved to LA from Indiana and uh, you know I was really naive I mean like super naive and uh, I started dating this guy and he had like long hair he was a musician he was actually a really good musician he was really cute and I ended up moving in with him and so he um, sorry my phone is asking uh, he actually um, we lived together for five years but he ended up kind of being a loser and he didn't have a, a real job. You know, he was a struggling actor and, uh, and musician and uh, uh, he was very controlling and uh, he got, got jealous really easily. So after maybe like two years of us living together and him being kind of verbally abusive, but I was really naive. I didn't really, you know, I'm like, oh my God, he loves me. So one night he got really jealous. I was talking to a guy and he, we went home and he got really drunk and he socked me in the eye.
so I was very, um, I guess codependent. So, you know, of course it was like all my fault. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I continued living with him for another couple years. But um, a couple months later, so my, my dad, my parents, my mom used to come out a lot, but my dad and I, you know, we were never like best buddies or anything, but I think I was daddy's little girl. I was the youngest. And so we didn't like have long conversations because every time we talked, we were very much alike. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a very bold person, as you know, and my dad was a very bold person as well. And we would always end up butting heads. And, uh, and so we, we rarely ever talked. So a couple months later, he came out to visit me and Joe, my boyfriend, he took us out to breakfast. I remember this distinctly at IHOP. And uh, we walked up, my dad and I, uh, my dad was very like cordial during the dinner, he barely, but he barely said a lot. And uh, as we walked out, my dad uh, and I walked ahead. And the only word that he said to me Or, Shauna, don't let anybody ever treat you badly. You're worth so much more. And so, I wanted to do this video because you're worth so much more. And last night, something happened to me. I, 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 I was talking to a possible client and we had had, you know, our consultation. I was, I, she asked for some references, so I was getting her some references, and then she asked for more references, and she kept asking questions that were like not questions of, you know, how long is this? No, it was more like I could, I could feel this doubt. And I just, you know, I think some people may sit there and try to prove themselves but you have nothing to prove and being on facebook and you know if that's your thing that's great but owning your self-worth is about owning the most precious gift that we have in life and that's called our time Yesterday I was at the grocery store and I was like, wow, I'm almost 50. Whoa, what are you talking about? Yesterday I was 28. And I know so much, so many of you are younger. And I'm telling you, you're going to close your eyes and one day you're going to wake up and go, what happened to my face? And that your time is so important and how you value it and how you understand that you have nothing to prove. That when you have whatever you do, a job, your business, and you understand what it is that you do and who you help, then you can understand and develop ways that help you own your time and own your confidence. So that one word that I wanna tell you that I learned from my dad was no, no, I'm never gonna say yes just for money. No, I'm never going to sacrifice my personal value and my high standards. I'm never gonna sit there and try to convince somebody that I'm worth it. And I don't believe that you should either. I believe that it's a personal choice how you spend your time, the rate that you charge, whatever it is, but just make sure that it makes you hold your head high, that afterwards you feel like you just changed the world. Because you did, you changed somebody's world. It doesn't matter if you're a coach or you're, you know, you're a janitor. <laughs> just being you changes people's world. When you can understand that 
And if it's for your business, you can empower yourself with whatever strategies you need, whatever you need to do. But don't waste your time. Don't try to convince people of something because you are ready that. And I just had to do this video and I'm sorry I'm crying. But I just wanted to tell you, you're worth so much more and time goes so fast. My mom died overnight of the flu 11 years ago and it feels like yesterday. Don't live your life trying to prove something because you're already it. Just empower yourself to be the amazing person that you are. Whatever, charge money for it. Go get a job. Do something that makes you feel good about yourself. So that every day you go to bed and you put your head on the pillow and you say, I'm worth it. I'm so glad that I lived today and that I shared my value and my life with others. That's all I wanted to say. I'm sorry that I'm crying. Stand in your value. When you walk in your value, people will respond. I promise you. Don't bend over backwards for anybody. I love you guys. Bye.